Chicos. And they're on their way. Let's begin with this singles tournament. Three, two, LFT one, Yvonne versus go. TCB Poyo. Poyo coming all the way from Peru. Ivan, a local here from Ferretero. Usually using Kirby, but now he's trying to use his Lucas. So far doing a pretty good job. Now it's pretty uncommon to see this matchup. How often do you see Lucas versus Sonic? You barely do. Hoyo, one of the very few Sonic mains who are still around from Smash 4. Here in Mexico we have Daish, but really that's about it. Now Peru has Poyo, and Japan still has Ken. And a couple of Sonics here and there in the USA, but there really aren't many, so it's pretty cool to see Sonic once again. I mean, it's not like he's particularly fun to watch, but hey, let's get back to the match. Hoyo already getting back his advantage situation from what started like a pretty big disadvantage. Oh no, the forward air already taking out Avan's stock. I think a proper DI could have saved him. But now, Yvonne is gonna have to find a way to deal with Sonic's pin dash. As far as I can tell, the armor that Sonic has can not can be challenged by a lot of moves now. It usually wasn't in Smash 4, but now things have changed and you can challenge it. Oh yeah, going all the way down there trying to catch Ivan off guard, and Ivan doing a pretty good job using that down smash to put Poyo back in the center stage, but no, is that going to do it? No two frame coming from Ivan quite yet. Using the PSI magnet, trying to get Poyo to escape to go away. He wants to find a way back into the ledge, and he doesn't quite make it, however. Trying also to spike him, going for the up smash. It's quite a risky move, it's pretty laggy, both on startup and on the end lag. Poyo takes away his second stock. The neutral is being controlled by him, absolutely. The spin dashes, Yvonne has yet to find any way to challenge that, other than shielding, he would rather just not get hit. But Poyo was at a pretty big percentage, and now Yvonne takes away his first stock. But it's gonna take a lot more than that to turn this game around. Lucas is having a bit of a hard time to get into Sonic's defenses. But once again, these combos are going to come in clutch. And remember, that Piggy Freeze is going to send you straight to the Bless Zone horizontally. There's nothing you can do about that unless you mash it out really bad. Like you want to destroy your controller bad. Oh yeah. Trying to get another advantage situation, but no, he has yet to make it. Trying the forward smash on the ledge, trying to keep him out of there. Barely makes it into the center station. The control is his once again, but no. Yvonne now reading a little bit more into Poyo's neutral game. He is getting a lot of conversions in this next stock. Trying to catch him with the forward smash, but no. Poyo air dodges away. But once again, Yvonne with a pretty good stage control. This is looking pretty different from his first stock. But once again, Poyo has been pretty fast on the ledge. And that will do it. That's game one. Poyo takes it with two stocks to spare. Let's do that again sometime. <clears throat> Money giving Ivan some coaching, whereas the rest of the players are just watching Poyo from a distance. He doesn't need it. Sorry, chat. My girlfriend is trying to kill me. Someone call the police. Call 911. <laughs> All right, here we go into game two. No character switching. They're going back into it with the same characters. We're going to Town and City. 
Already looking like a Smash 4 set where Sonic starts up trying his spin dash. Classic. Who doesn't remember Smash 4? Good old days. Poor Bayonetta, especially. But oh well. Whatever happens, happens. Now here we are getting into it. Nobody has yet to land a move on the other player. They're both just camping it out. And now finally, Ivan gets the first hit on Poyo. And we're doing a pretty good job shielding any and all approaches he tries to get into him. Barely makes it into the stage without getting hit. Poyo chasing him. And we're even on, on percents, it seems like. Okay, 3%, what is that? Like, just one hit. It's a jab, almost. Spin dashing and breaking Yvonne's defenses. Getting back in there with the spin dashes and the homing attacks. Poyo finally breaking advanced defenses too. And he was trying to land the spike, but he barely misses. And that would have been Poyo's end because there was no way Sonic was getting back from that. Yvonne losing his first stock off stage. Very good edge guard game from Poyo. Spin dashing into it. Yvonne has yet to find a way to really combo Poyo again. Makes it with a PK Thunder and finally a spike coming from Yvonne. Suddenly this is not looking quite as bad. However, the neutral game is once again being dominated by Poyo. Yvonne needs to find a way to consistently hit those, uh, first those PK fires, then those nares and stuff. Oh no, another edge guard off stage, but no, the Zair takes him back in there. No questions asked. Just pull off that rope snake and he will be your savior. Well, it will be your savior, rather. Down smash coming from Yvonne, but that back here will also do it. It's two stocks to one, and it seems like Poyo has already downloaded Yvonne's plan. Yvonne now has to rely on rates, really. Either that or punishing any shield approaches that Poyo gives him. But it hasn't been working out. Poyo still catching Evan whenever he jumps. Evan jumping quite a bit. I think that's one of the weaknesses. He has been jumping so much. And okay, there, there's an air dodge. That's a good strategy. But now he tells us just a PK freeze. See if he lands into it. And now using the PK fire to space himself. But that's not going to do it. Poyo. Pretty smart with his moves. Remember, Sonic is the fastest character in the game on the ground, but no, Yvonne won't make it, and that's going to be it. Poyo takes it. 2-0 over Yvonne. Okay, Chad.